Okay, so this is feeding poop with food that we need out. I just steal a little bit back because I've got to put a tablet in it. She's on antibiotics still. She wants to feed it in my hand. So I just wait for her to finish her food or most of it. And then when she's almost done, I get my insulin ready and I'm just going to pop it up here. Where's your foot? Find a spot that's nice and loose and straight in. So I find if her head's moving around in the bowl, if you're down here it's a bit too hard to uh, control. So I like to go further up, that moves around less. Um, but I find, especially if you feed them while they're eating, you've got them there and they're focused on something else, they don't notice the insulin injection and it just saves, you can almost do it on your own without anyone helping you. So that's what I've been doing with Pip. It's working really well. And then I give her her water back again. Good girl, Pip. Now remember that if they don't eat all their food, maybe they're feeling a bit off colour or other reason, nauseous, then don't give them the full dose of insulin because it, the insulin is calculated on the amount of food that they're getting. So if they don't eat at all, then don't give all the dose. Your vet should be telling you what, uh, how to correct the dose. Um, I generally go half the dose if they've only eaten half the meal or a third of a dose if they don't eat anything. Um, and also remember throughout the day if they vomit, then that's going to affect it as well. So if they vomit, then try and make sure that they have something to eat soon afterwards just to uh, counteract that, that loss of food. So there's some tips from me and Pip.